well hello my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend welcome back to the channel thank you so much for hanging out with me today i have such a cool video because today i will be attempting to recreate 90s airbrush nails with gel nail polish now uh i know these are really really bad so cue in the booing children <laughs> But alas, my little perfectionist of a little Virgo brain wouldn't let me stop recreating these nails until I finally got it done right. So I ended up practicing and practicing and practicing. And guess what? My beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend, I ended up creating these little guys. Look. Ew. Now, these aren't like the best best because these are some of my beginning uh, nails where I was kind of getting the hang of stuff. But I ended up creating this little airbrush style and I kind of really like it. What do you guys think? How do you guys think I did? This is my first time creating airbrush 90s nails. So try not to be too tough on me, friend. I am a beginner. Just so you guys know, I'm not a professional. I am somebody just like you who sits on her bedroom floor to recreate nails. And uh, I actually tried recreating the 70s Powerpuff Girls nails. And uh, uh, throw that away, mama. <laughs> now let's create our 90s nails. <laughs> Okay, mommy, but before we begin, I must warn you, I do not create my nails like everybody else does. Uh, I do them a little weird, so let me show you how I create them without acrylic. So I'm going to take a cuticle pusher, and I'm going to push back my cuticles. Um, it's up to you whether you want to trim them or not. I have actually heard pretty bad things about trimming your cuticles, so I am not going to be trimming them. I'm just going to push them back, and then I'm going to take a little file, and I am going to buff the top of my nail. Try not to do it so rough. Just do it just so you could get a little bit of texture on the top of your nail i do this so when i actually apply or create my little fake tip or whatever when i create my tip my nail doesn't pop off like a like a sticker or something you know what i mean so this is what your nail should look like once you are done um putting texture on them with your file making them a uh, nice and um buffed i guess <laughs> and now we're gonna take some alcohol and we're gonna clean them off so that we could dehydrate them and now i'm gonna grab some base coat and i'm gonna paint all of my nails I am only going to do one coat of the base coat. I'm going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to pop them out. And then my nails should be ready, friend. And voila, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. This is what your nails should look like once they are out of the UV lamp. They shouldn't look any different. And yeah, they just look shiny. And now let's get some IBD hard gel. So I'm going to grab my IBD hard gel. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's really clear and it's really sticky. And I'm going to grab a little brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little glob. And I'm going to apply some on the inside of my extra, extra, extra long nail tip. I will be linking everything I use in the description box below if you guys are interested. And then I'm going to take some of that IBD gel and I'm going to apply it onto my natural nail like so try not to apply too much because it will flood uh your cuticle area and you do not want too many chemicals touching your skin so now i'm going to grab my tip and i'm just going to place it slightly on um just place it on top try not to put too much pressure because like i said it will gush all over the place and this is what it should look like try to straighten it out so it doesn't set crooked in the uv lamp and this is what my nail is going to look like put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and this is what it should look like when you take it out looks like a regular tip right but i'm actually going to grab my tip and i'm going to bloop, pop it right off okay so this step confuses everybody so i'm gonna explain to you guys why i do this the reason why i create this little base with my ibd gel is because i have really really short nails because i bite the heck out of them if you guys are an og to my channel you guys already know that i have anxiety and i bite the heck out of my nails and i even gotten a comment asking um if you don't have short nails like me if you don't bite your nails do you still have to do this little step do you still have to create the base and yes you do friend uh the base helps protect your nail from all the filing as well and also the plastic tip has um a little ridge in it so it won't let you fully use it as a full cover tip without the base if that makes any sense so okay let's continue <laughs> If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I will be happy to answer. And if you are still confused, I apologize. Please keep watching and I promise you everything will all make sense. So now we're going to grab our base coat and I'm going to paint the little nail that we have just created. And the reason why I am going to be applying base coat onto the little fake tip is because the base coat actually is a really good glue substitute for the tip. 
once you apply this tip with base coat your tip is not gonna go anywhere mama you could use regular nail glue if you guys want to but i actually really really love the base coat so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna set it in the uv lamp and voila my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend we have an extra 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 long nail tip and now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna flip it upside down and i'm going to fill the bottom with ibd gel and the reason why i do this is because it creates um sturdiness and your nail won't bend and so yeah <laughs> that's why i do that and i'm gonna keep on filling up the whole entire nail until um it is thick to my liking i guess <laughs> and also don't forget to cut these down to size friend i always forget to cut them down to size um because um i don't know i guess i just my brain just wants to fill it in with the glue because i like to see it nice and clear i don't know my brain is weird so yeah <laughs> don't forget to cut it down fill it in and then put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds okay and once your nail is out of the uv lamp this is what it should look like friend so freaking beautiful so long and it's already shaped you don't have to do that much filing you don't have to go crazy with the drill so now we're gonna get some alcohol and we are just going to clean off the nail because the ibd does have um a little bit of tackiness after you take it out of the uv lamp so make sure to clean it off so when you start filing none of your little files get stuck to the nail make sense <laughs> so yeah this is what i know she look like really really beautiful and with this cute little pink file i am going to blend in the plastic nail into the ibd um base that we just created and i'm going to shape it i'm going to try to make as much as an apex that i can like i said i'm not a professional so i'm going to try my best they usually come out looking a little flat but that's because i'm still learning <laughs> and um nobody else uses this little method so i'm kind of just learning how to you know perfect it as i go and once i am done filing the little cuticle area i'm gonna make sure to grab a pink buffing block and i'm gonna buff the whole entire nail to give it a nice smooth uniformed look and once you're done buffing don't forget to get a nice little fluffy brush and uh, brush off all of the excess dust and then you are going to grab some alcohol and you are going to clean off the nail to dehydrate it even more you want to get rid of all the dusties and you want to get rid of all the oil and voila my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend you could leave your nail like that you can leave it just like this friend you don't have to do anything else but i actually like to kick it up a notch and i like to add clear gel nail polish to give it that glass nail effect and i don't do this every single time i'm just gonna do this because i want to show you guys what they look like when they look like glass if you guys are new to my channel i want you to see the glass nails friend so i'm gonna grab my clear coat now i usually like to use the mccart one but i'm gonna use the asp because i ran out and i had to go to sally's to go get it and once i am done taking out of the uv lamp i'm gonna wipe it down with some alcohol because the asp gel polish is not wipe free you have to wipe it girl that's the thing that sucks about asp and this is what our nails should look like for it i went ahead and i worked on the rest of them but that is how i create my glass nails without acrylic i feel like it's super easy and it's super simple and it's really really fast and it's perfect for the girl on the go like me who honestly doesn't have time to be working with acrylic and be filing and doesn't like the smell i hate the smell mama i don't like acrylic and then also poly gel is a little bit too sticky for me so i like this method um i hope if you guys like it, you guys try it out as well and let me know if you like it too. Okay, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend, let's get to painting our beautiful glass nails. And the colors that I'm going to be using are going to be Pink Sweetness by the brand ASP. I got this from Sally's, by the way. And then I'm also going to be using this beautiful, and I mean beautiful, jelly color by Macar. I believe it's called Crystal Rose Red. You guys are going to love this color. I know it looks hella meh in the bottle, but... Trust me, once you see it on my nails, you guys are going to run to buy it. I'll be linking it down in the description box below. And I am going to do one layer of the gel polish. And I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And I'm just going to paint one layer, okay? Every single layer that you guys do, put it in the UV lamp. Because you don't want it to glob up. Now, look at the jelly color, friend. Ah! So beautiful. It hella reminds me of Barbie. Now, don't forget to put it in the UV lamp. And this is what it looks like after our first layer of gel polish and now i'm gonna do a, another layer i'm gonna do a second coat and then i'm gonna put it in the uv lamp again just looking at that like bright pink that bright flamingo pink like it makes me think of the of the inflatable couches like i could just smell those inflatable couches from the 2000s do you guys know what i'm talking about am i really showing my age here <laughs> and this is what i know it should look like after we're done and i actually did three coats of the baby pink and two coats of the bright pink crystal rose red uh flamingo 
color <laughs> and now once i'm done painting my nails i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna seal my color with a clear coat i'm gonna go ahead with my asp i don't like it i recommend the mccart clear coat by the way and uh yeah and this is what our nails should look like after we are done they low-key scream like malibu barbie i love it so beautiful and i love the length for these nails too i didn't make them too short i always make them short but these are perfect and now the moment of truth friend dun 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 time to create the 90s nail brush or the 90s airbrush nail art onto our nails so i'm gonna be recreating this one right here because it's my favorite and it was actually the easiest one out of all of them and whatever is easy i do mama and so yeah let's go ahead and let's recreate this i'm so excited but i'm kind of nervous <laughs> let's go so the colors that i'm going to be using to recreate the 90s airbrush nail art is this pink it's called electric pink by no addict la this clear jelly pink by mccart the rose red and i'm going to be using a clear gel nail polish and also a matte gel nail polish so once i've gathered once i gathered once i've gathered all of my gel nail polishes i'm going to grab my dotting tool and i'm also going to grab a small like precision brush like a tiny little brush like this a precision brush i don't know how to pronounce that whatever so let's get started and also don't forget your little bob ross palette to mix all of your colors so i'm gonna grab my electric pink by no Arc de Lay. i'm gonna dip i'm gonna make a little glob of it on my little bob ross palette and with my little dotting tool on the skinny side i'm gonna dip into it i'm gonna make sure that i grab a nice amount and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna draw a heart on my nail friend now wish me luck and say a little prayer for me because you guys already know that i suck at hand drawing things that is why i bought a cricut machine a cricut machine is this little machine that makes stickers for me because i can't draw anything to save my own life but as you guys can see i'm actually doing it i am creating a heart friend yes I'm so proud of myself. I never thought I'd ever do something like this. Well, anyways, once I'm done drawing this little heart, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw another one right underneath it. And once I'm done drawing that one, I'll be right back. Okay, friend, and once you're done doing your hearts, now grab your dotting tool and dip into your pink once more and add random little dots. You guys don't have to do this if you guys don't want to, but I just felt like it looked really plain. So let's add some little dots and don't forget to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is what it should look like. And now on our Bob Ross palette, let's grab some of our matte top coat. I'm actually running out, girl. I need to stock up. I need to go back on Amazon. Give me some of that Model 1's uh, matte top coat. Do you guys recommend any other top coats, by the way? Let me know in the comment section down below because this one is a little streaky. And now I'm going to dip into my, I'm going to grab my crystal rose red jelly color. And I'm going to add a glob of it on my little Bob Ross palette as well. And now I'm going to create my own custom like clear jelly color. I'm going to dip into the LA, um, no addict LA's um, hot pink. I'm going to put it in my matte my clear matte gel polish and then i'm gonna grab some of the crystal rose red and i'm gonna mix it into my matte gel polish as well and once i have created um my preferred shade of pink i'm gonna grab some clear gel nail polish and i'm gonna add some of it into my little concoction to make it a little bit more runny and once i am done mixing it all up i am going to dip into it with my dotting tool and I'm actually going to try to outline my hearts with it. So I'm going to outline it like this. I'm going to dip into my pink with my dotting tool. And then around my heart, I'm just going to slightly outline it with my jelly color. Now, it's not that noticeable. I feel like I should have gone over the heart a little bit more with the clear jelly pink color that I've just created, but I didn't want to lose control because there were so many times where I added the clear jelly around the heart and it just dispersed everywhere and it made everything look really, really messy and I didn't like that. I wanted to look more uniform, so I kept the jelly color really, really close to the outline of the heart. I didn't let it go 
everywhere. I didn't let it disperse as much, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to continue doing this to both of my hearts. I'm going to outline it with my jelly color. And I'm also going to outline my little dots with the jelly color as well. And once I am done doing that, I'm going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And I'll write my little love bug. This is what our nails should look like after we are done taking it out of the UV lamp. Everything looks a little bit blown out. It looks a little bit airbrushed. And now let's grab a white gel nail polish, any white of your choice. This one is called White Addict by Nail Addict LA. And now I'm going to grab my precision brush. Precision brush? I always repeat it when I say it because I make a weird face. And I'm just going to add little white highlights to my heart. And I'm going to do white highlights on my heart and white highlights on my little pink dots that I've created. And I'll let you guys watch as I do this and I'll be right back when I'm done. And once we're done doing all the white highlights, I'm going to um, get the use the chunky side of my uh, dotting tool. And I'm going to do a random white dot right here underneath my heart. And with something pointy, I'm going to use this cuticle pusher. I'm just going to extend some lines from the dot. I'm so sorry if my long ass nail is in the way, my bad friend. Um, but this is how I create my little stars. I add a dot. And then with something pointy, like my little cuticle pusher right here, I just drag out these lines. And that's how I make my little twinkles. And once you're done doing your little stars, don't forget to add little white dots around your stars. And you could add little white dots everywhere else around the nail if you guys want to. You guys don't have to do this if you guys don't want to. I just feel like it looks really cute on an airbrush nail. And this is what it should look like once you are done doing all of your designs. Don't forget to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And voila, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. Look at this nail. Yes, I'm so freaking proud of it, y'all. Look at me doing hand-drawn artwork. Who would have thought? And once you are done, uh, don't forget to seal your beautiful design with a clear layer of top coat, a nice juicy layer friend to make it nice and shiny. And then once you're done, put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is what your nails should look like. Yes, boo. These were so freaking cute and I was so proud of them. I actually gave myself a little hand clap. Yay, Patrick Patrick. I freaking love them. They're so cute. <laughs> Well, anyways, let's move on, friend, and let's do another nail brush, or how come I keep on calling it nail brush? Another airbrush nail art design. So I'm going to start off by doing my hearts once again. And the way that I create my little hearts is I keep continuously dipping into the pink because you do not want the color to run out or else your heart will just look really, really wonky. So just continuously keep dipping into the pink, friend, and keep that line nice and thick. Remember, this is airbrush art and airbrush art isn't that perfect you know <laughs> even though i'm somebody who likes things to look very very like neat and uniformed or else i go a little crazy it's okay they can look a little wonky it's fine friend <laughs> and once you're doing once you're done doing your little heart art la 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 oh my gosh you guys can't even talk once you're done doing your little heart outlines don't forget to do your little dots and once you're done doing the little dots don't forget to put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and then outline everything out with your um little jelly mixture with the matte nail polish and i'll let you guys watch this um because this portion takes a really long time and i don't know what else to say <laughs>
And once you are done outlining, don't forget to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is what it should look like after you are done. And once you take your hand out of the UV lamp. And now don't forget to add your little white details with your white gel nail polish and your little precision brush. And if you mess up and create a bit of a boo-boo, don't worry, friend. Just take a little Q-tip and you could dip it in some alcohol or some acetone and you can just wipe off your little mistake away and it'll go away. Bye-bye, boo-boo. And it'll be nice and cute. And once you're done adding your little white um, accents to um, our hearts and our dots, go ahead and create your twinkles. And once you're done creating your twinkles, also don't forget to add your white dots little white dots for detail and yeah i'll let you guys watch and don't forget to set it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds And this is what this nail looks like, friend. I'm actually really, really, really proud of this one. This one looks better than the other one. And don't forget to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And bam, friend. Wow, so pretty. I freaking love them. I want to create this in every single color. Imagine some lavender one. Some lavender airbrush 90s nail art. Hella cute. I love it. And don't forget to seal your design again with a nice juicy layer of clear gel nail polish. Put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And voila, friend. So freaking cute. I love them. Now, I wish I would have made a little clear solution. I wish I would have mixed some white and clear. And I wish I would have gone over the twinkles to give the twinkles a fuzzy effect too, if you guys know what I mean. But it is what it is. It's cute just the way that it is. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work on my thumb really really fast and i will pop back up when i'm done okay friends so this is what our little airbrush design looks like so far on our thumb now don't forget to put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and seal it with a nice juicy layer of clear gel nail polish and voila yes friend i love this set so i know you guys are gonna think i'm a little crazy because i'm looking at this set right now hmm, my little brain my little brain wants to change the hot pink color and guess what i did i did i changed the hot pink color to like this sparkly pink this is the brand jellish and the color is called june bride i'm so sorry y'all i know you guys hate it when i randomly switch it up on you but you guys already know i want to do a full bling nail and the hot pink was popping up 
from uh in the background of the bling set if that makes any sense and i hate it when you do a solid color nail and you cover it in bling and you could still see some of the color through the bling if that makes any sense so whenever i do blings i either keep the nail clear or i cover the nail in um in like a light color or i'll do a glitter color so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use these round flat back crystals the small size that i was showing you guys i'm gonna grab my crystal pickup tool and i'm gonna use my eye hold glitz glue and let's get started friends so with my crystal pickup pen with the metal side i'm gonna pick up a nice glob of glue and i am going to cover my nail with an even layer of the glue friend and since this is a long ass nail we are going to need a lot of mo freaking glue Okay, friendship, so I hella forgot to show you, but this is the bling that we are going to create today. And in order to create this type of bling, I um, I have like a little technique that I use in order to create these. So this is how I do it. So with the nail that I'm going to bling out completely, I'm going to take these round AB gems, all the same size, except for this one right here that I'm going to play in the middle. As you guys could see, this tiny one. Ignore that one. It's just that I hated that little gap right there. But anyways we're going to basically surround the whole entire nail with these same size gems to create a nice even border so that the nail looks really clean and uniform if that makes any sense also when blinging please don't forget to press your gem into the glue to slightly surround the gem with the glue but don't let the glue completely cover your gem friend it will dull your crystal and make everything look like gaga don't do that and don't let your gem hang over the edge of your nail Okay, friend, because then your gem will just pop right off and you're going to get mad. It's going to ruin your design, ruin your day. And if you're like me, you're going to want to chop the whole entire nail down because it looks ugly. And once you are done doing the border, grab these large AB crystals. And I am going to grab whichever one fits on my nail. And I am just going to uh, place them in a row. As you guys could see, I started filling in the bottom with some round gems. But I ended up quitting that and I just ended up filling the rest of my nail with these large AB gems all the way to the top. And when I'm done, I'll be back and I'll explain the next step. Okay, and once you are done placing all of your large AB gems in a row, go ahead and grab your smaller round ABs, preferably the same size that you use to create your border, and start filling in uh, the gaps in your nail. And try and do so evenly and try not to use a uh, larger size gems because then the nail is just going to look wonky. Like, for example, if you place a large gem on the left side and then place another gem on the right um, and then place a small gem on the left side, it's just going to look uneven. So try to use the same size of gems if you guys want to. If you guys want to mix and match, that's up to you, mama. But I'm just giving you my advice. <laughs> and if you have any blinging techniques or secrets that you want to share with me, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to learn some them i love anything that has to do with bling friend you guys already know i'm obsessed and once i'm done completely blinging out my nail this is what it looks like it's so freaking pretty make sure that all of your gems in the center are nice and straight and make sure that none of your gems are hanging off from the side and then put it in the uv lamp friend and this is what it should look like oh and don't forget to clean it off with some rubbing or with some isopropyl isopropyl alcohol and voila friend look at that shine yes mama i love it it's so freaking shiny it looks like a little mini disco ball yes how much do you charge at a regular nail salon for something like this friend if you're a real nail tech please let me know in the comment section down below okay friend and now let's move on to our pinky and i'm actually going to be creating the same exact design on my pinky too i'm going to cover the whole entire nail with uh, my uv gel and then i'm going to surround the whole entire nail with a border of uh, round ab gems and then in the center i'm going to place a row of my large ab um, crystals and then fill in the gaps put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and voila my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend you have a bougie ass pinky
okay so this is what our nail set is looking like so far and it's still looking a little plain to me and i want to give it a little extra pop so with my dotting tool i'm actually going to dip into my uv glue and i'm going to place a dot in the center of my twinkles and only in my twinkles friend and i'm going to be placing small tiny little ab gems in the center of them so that they could twinkle in the light and once you are done don't forget to put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds friend i should literally get a sweater that says put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds <laughs> and voila my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend you have an extra airbrush 90s heart set isn't it so freaking cute i freaking love it i'm so freaking proud of this set i'm so obsessed with it but before i let you guys go i hella want to ask you guys what do you guys think about this color i just bought it it's called blueprints it's by asp like i said i went to sally's to go get clear coat and i saw this blue and i died what should i create with this please let me know in the comment section down below the first thing that pops into your head and um i will put it in my inspiration list and let's see if i create something out of it and look i even whipped out my blue gems to see if i could get inspired so in the comment section down below what's the first thing that pops into your head when you see this color bam write it write it down right now pause the video and write it down right now <laughs> and yeah that's all i wanted to know back to the set friend <laughs> Oh, that was a really ugly laugh excuse me and now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna grab some cuticle oil and i'm gonna put it in my cuticle area and yes friend this is our set i'm so freaking proud of this dude who would have thought that i would freaking do hand-drawn nail art jesus for real though thank you jesus <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me today today is valentine's day friend well at least i'm hoping that today is valentine's day i have been rushing on this set because as you guys could see i tried and tried and tried to recreate this airbrush 90 set and it didn't really work out for me all my other designs came out looking like gaga but i finally got it done so i'm hoping i posted this on valentine's day and if you don't have a valentine remember i am your valentine we just had a date you are sitting here watching me this is a little mini date friend and if you were eating a snack and watching this we basically just had a little mini dinner day uh. and also i would love to send out besitos kisses and hugs to all of my broken hearts out there because i know today is not your fave you know we could call today val and times day instead of valentine's day so screw valentine's day val and times get to spend time with val and do nails and eat snacks so yeah so i hope i was able to put a little smile on your face friend trust and believe me when i tell you guys that i know that heartbreak suck i'm speaking from freaking experience but i'm also speaking from experience when i tell you guys that this feeling is not forever it's only temporary and this too shall pass you know just focus on building a relationship with yourself friend a relationship with oneself is the most important relationship that you need to work on before you get into another one that is my personal experience i'm a firm believer in the quote if you can't love yourself how in the hell are you gonna love anybody else if you know where that's from put it in the comment section down below you guys probably already know where it's from because you guys i know i watch a lot of that show okay okay so i've been sitting here and talking for way too long like a little granny goose so thank you so much my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend i really do appreciate that you took the time out of your valentine's day to hang out with me today that's so freaking cool I really do appreciate that and also if you guys want to tag me in like random pictures of your cat on instagram that would totally really make my day so please do that thank you again i love you so so much my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend Mwah. adios goodbye